Last June, a Tesla Model S plate set a production electric vehicle record time around the German Nürburgring racetrack, which has become a benchmark in recent years for performance vehicles to test and post competitive times. Then, in January of 2024, Porsche answered Tesla with a faster time around the ring in a modified Porsche Taken EV. While not a specific production version of the Taken at the time, the hotter model was said to preview something to come, and now we know what Porsche was working on. Here's the ultimate 2025 Porsche Taken Turbo GT EV in all of its new speed record glory, and there's also a new optional Wysatch track package upgrade you're going to want. The recently updated Taken Turbo S, which is no longer the top dog of the range thanks to the GT, is no real slouch by any measure. But Porsche knew it could push the platform one more level with the latest tech, including active air suspension, upgraded batteries with greater efficiency, and big power gains. Enter the Porsche Taken Turbo GT. From the outside, the Taken Turbo GT is differentiated by a new front splitter, unique aero blades on the sides of the nose, and new forged 21-inch wheel options, though most of the regular turbo wheel options also carry over, with a carbon winglet on the rear trunk of the Turbo GT that includes a gurney flap. Then there's the Taken Turbo GT with the Wysatch pack, which pushes things even further by deleting the driver's side charge port completely for weight savings. It also introduces underfloor air guides, new side sills, unique badging, and an entirely different trunk structure to support a massive carbon wing hanging over the rear end. These changes on models equipped with the Wysatch pack generate up to 175 pounds of downforce over the front axle and up to 310 pounds at the rear. Both the GT and GT with the track pack delete the powered trunk door for additional weight savings, up to 157 pounds lighter than the Turbo S. On the Wysatch equipped Takens, the rear seats are completely removed for further weight savings, with weight totaling 5,038 pounds for the Turbo GT and 4,884 pounds for the Wysatch models. The available carbon bucket seats will not be offered in the US nor Canada, and you'll only be able to get the 18-way sport seat plus setup with Turbo GT embroidered. Inside the new Taken, drivers are now able to activate what's called attack mode. There's still the traditional performance boost button from other Porsche models, and this new attack mode is more of a full recalibration of the car. Where existing boost systems are designed mostly for straight line performance, the new mode will stiffen the suspension, lock differentials, and set the torque bias to the rear end, remaining activated under more dynamic driving. There are now two dials on the steering wheel, one for the traditional drive mode selection and a new dial switch for the Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, and chassis adjustment settings. This allows the driver to uniquely calibrate different mixes of throttle and suspension settings.